This is David from Geek This, and today we are going to work on section planes. A section plane allows you to cut off a view of an object so you can see the inside of it or past it. So to begin, I'm going to delete Susan and create a really amazing shape. Going to be the next big thing, I promise you that. Oh, I think I didn't connect to something that really sucks. Okay, there we go. So we have this object, and if I want to only see the back portion of this, even if I'm viewing it from the area with the lower cut, I can go to Tools, Section, Plane, and I'm choosing this back wall. You can choose any wall, and the section plane snaps to any angle. You can further uh, move and adjust the angles after you place it. So now, I don't see the front of the object, and I see the back. To easily switch between this, you can right-click and go to disable the active cut on the section plane. But another cool thing is if you go to Windows, Scenes, and we'll create two scenes, one for the active one, and then one for the next. So I, w I want the first scene to be the full drawing, so I'm just going to right click and turn off active cut, right click, update scene, update. So now if I switch between the scenes, I can see it getting cut and then it getting uncut. Uh, SketchUp animates the motion between both of these, so you can't like snap right away to the new cut. And unchecking this box doesn't do anything, it just removes it from the animation sequence which can be found in view, animation, play, which will just loop through all your scenes. So if I want another cut, I can go to Tools, Section Plane, and add it to this side. But I want it on an angle, so I'm going to use the Rotate tool, and select it, and rotate it. Then I can move the, use the Move tool to move it. So now we see that the cut gets rotated and... I didn't update it. So that's how you use the section plane inside of SketchUp. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.